Hi, this is Wyan with Greenwork Experience, and today we're going to learn how to calculate FTEs, or full-time equivalent calculations. FTE calculations are broken down to three types of occupants, full-time, part-time, and transient occupants. A quick note about lead FTE calculations. You should always view the lead FTE appendix located in the back of your book. This is an important guide to see if you're reaching the baseline with your calculations, as well as a reference to kind of determine if you're calculating specific regions or specific areas properly. Another thing to note is that it's credit and rating system dependent. Some credits do not count transients, some do not count children under a specific age. So it's important to actually look at the credit and determine how they are calculating it. Are they using an equation that they want you to calculate, or are they just using appendix values? Another thing to note is the lead submission process. Make sure you adjust the form necessary to output the exact numbers that you are receiving. The form typically works on an eight hour shift, so that is something important to actually note, that you need to reach those hours if your calculation is higher than an eight hour shift. The general FTE calculation is quite simple. It's the weekly occupation divided by a 40 hour typical work week. In order to get the total FTE for your building, you're gonna add full time, part time, and transient FTE rates. With the following examples, we are gonna calculate a full building's FTE value. This first example, we're using full time employees. 12 full time employees, 12 hour shifts, six days a week. We calculate that out and it comes out to 21.6. A conservative approach would be to round this to 22 for the FTE value of full-time employees. Our next portion of our building is part-time employees. We have six part-time employees, three-hour shifts, five days a week. We result in a number of 2.25 that can be rounded to three to provide a conservative approach. Now for our building, we have two transient occupancies, students and people that are going to meetings that aren't already accounted for as employees. So for our example, we're taking 50 students, four hours of class, five days a week, resulting in a 25 FTE. For our meetings, we're having 25 people with two hour meetings, two days a week, resulting in a 2.5 FTE value. Remember to always take the conservative approach in calculating FTEs. So for our examples, we are going to round up each of the individual things that we calculated to receive our total FTE. We add full-time, part-time, students, and meetings. This results in a 53 value for our FTE total for our building. Thank you for viewing our FTE presentation. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback and any other videos you'd like us to make at greenworkexperience.com. Thank you.